Hey guys, Bob Wax with Godfrey Marine and I'm standing here with Drew Mary, our senior designer. Drew, why don't you tell us a little bit about this boat? This is beautiful. What is this? This is a 235 SFL Monaco and yeah, let's talk about the exteriors. So this 235 SFL is really one of our best sellers. We brought it out last year. Um, people love the interior floor plan. What colors am I looking at here, Drew? So this one has the uh, silver anodized rails and you've got the uh, carbon fiber accent vinyl on the top and you've got the fluted uh, black metallic and then you've got the caramel accent at the bottom. You've got a caramel uh, metallic here. So as we work our way this way, we actually, this boat particularly has the smooth skin insert, which is nice because if you're looking for some variation in texture and how the light hits it, this works very well for adding that secondary little um, accent that you know really kind of stands out. In the yeah, and I think the, the great thing about this is for dealers that are maybe new to Godfrey or, or thinking about taking the line on, this is actually an insert over the fluted skin. So this is actually a double walled skin right here. So this is extremely solid right here. You know, a lot of people early on had, oh, is this gonna dance, is this gonna move? It's pretty solid all the way down because it's actually two layers of skin. We float this layer over the top of the fluted skin, so it's tremendously strong, and it's extremely flexible, right? I mean, you can move colors around in these, right, Drew? Oh, and once, if you're looking at the line, I'm always surprised at how many options come down the line. It surprises me every day. Yeah, the nice thing about a Monaco is it's so customizable for the customer. You know, you can, you can make the boat be your boat, customize the colors, and you're, you, you might not see another one on your lake ever, right? So that's a great thing. Not a cookie cutter formula at all. I really like the, the clear rails with this combination. And I also noticed right now, I don't know if you can pick this up or not, we got the RGB under deck lights running. So your red, green, blue, there's a controller on the inside and we've got it in demo mode right now. So it's just kind of running through the color scheme, but really nice at night, really beautiful. Um, really like the way the flow. What was the inspiration for the whole shape of this? Boat? Yeah, so this is the type of boat that you want to have a lot of movement when it's sitting still. So, you know, having that uh, forward momentum type of uh, uh, line work is really helps a lot. You know, makes it a fast streamlined type of feel to it. And, you know, it's a very sporty style boat, so we wanted to make it sporty and appealing to, you know, somebody looking at it from a distance as well. Well, the other thing I noticed on this boat that I love is this optional power canopy. So the Power Tune Canopy on this is really a nice feature. Um, a lot of the lakes that are where I live and a lot of the boathouses, you want to be able to press the button and at the press of a button this canopy will go down and come back up. It's a really popular option and we're seeing more and more of them all the way through the line. Highly recommended if you've got a boat lift with a canopy on it, press the button and in and out you go. It really works well. Yeah, really like the shape of this though, the way it comes back into the stainless steel cage back here. Now this, this really cleans the back of this boat up with gates on both sides, really gives you that stainless steel look with the big ladder, right? Yeah, so on the SFL, we've got the fastback and all these Monaco's, you've got what we call a fastback um, with the arcing back landings. Um, but with this SFL, we wanted to have a very open type of entertainment so you can actually see the water, see your friends, and entertain in the boat as well as in the water and have that back and forth conversation. And this boat has the optional extended deck platform. So this boat actually has an extension on it that is an option on it, but this is the way probably almost all of these go out the door here at Godfrey because it gives you so much room, really gives you a nice look to the back of the boat, really usable, usable. great gate in the back, stainless steel that drops in place and stays closed. I really like that feature on the boat. Engineers did a wonderful job in making sure that all these, all these factors in here are very strong. You know, it passes all the uh, engineering requirements that we have. Um, obviously, the ingress and egress on this ladder is very comfortable for all various ages and sizes. And I like the way the ski tow bar integrated yeah. into the look. Very safe boat for, the, for a, a rear-facing sofa like this. Very safe boat. Drew, I love the back seat in this boat. I can, I can see spending the day out at the sandbar watching the kids swim around. This is great. How does all this work? Yeah, I love this boat. This layout is great. You know, so like we mentioned before, you've got a lot of entertainment in the in the uh, back end of this boat, and it's v it's very versatile. Um, what's great about it is that you can still entertain in the water and still kind of have that communication between each other. And I'm actually sitting on what is a toy box, and it's actually a seat as well. So what's nice is that you're able to kind of sit here and kind of hang out and not take up a ton of room by a larger seating area. And as we come to this area. You could either lounge forward as you're underway or just entertaining this area, or both if you wanted to. You could still sit on the back end. Or we just simply flip it, just a single mechanism. And you can lounge, hang out. I can still see the water. I can have my friends still here. I mean, you could probably even set some food there if you really please, if you wanted to. 
plenty of storage. Storage, I mean, you can't really get much more storage than this. Like I mentioned before, this one is designed to actually hold a large inner tube. You just stand it face down. Um, we've got a large hatch here. You can hold all your fenders. We've got your batteries down here. I assume we could put a changing room option here if we needed to, yep, right? changing so. room option, um, as well as uh, all your life vests. So just those, those big ticket items. And I, then I like the way the gates all close up for safety yeah, when we're very underway. Simple, you know, so in our boat, unlike a lot of the competitors, you can actually be in this seat underway because we have the safety gate. Really makes a more usable back seat. Yeah, that's a huge, huge difference that, you know, so you feel safe underway. The kids aren't going to go off the back end of the boat so much. Well, let's take a look at the helm. What was your inspiration for this helm? Because it's wonderful. Yeah, again, taking the aesthetics of the exterior with the uh, forward-facing lines that actually have a, uh, a forward-moving uh, uh, style line to them. We wanted to make sure that this dash had a very similar feature to it, so it didn't seem like it was out of place. Um, so this this helm was especially especially designed for this boat particularly. Well, as, as a boater, the thing I really like about it is right here, the master power switch. So if you can just remember to hit that one switch when you leave the boat or when you come on the boat, everything's gonna shut down. We're not gonna come back to a dead battery. I really like the way the fusion, new fusion system integrates into the helm, it matches really nice. This particular one has the Lowrance hook system on it, but really great. The thing you notice about this right away is great foot room underneath here with the uh, foam pad, um, really good shift range. Not gonna crush your knuckles when you hit full throttle. Cup holders here, and of course our controller for the back for the canopy. Power up, power down. Yeah, that's, that's an easy add. Nothing wrong with that at all, no. I love that feature. And, we, and, and the design and engineering te team worked together to really mock up this uh, helm prior to building it to make sure that all, get, all the ergonomics are correct and comfortable. So once you get behind this helm, you know, everything kind of makes sense. Work. This boat feels so much bigger than a 235 when you're in it. It feels like you're in a really large boat, but it's a really nice size. You got a lot of capacity on this boat with 12 people, of course, a lot of room in the boat, a lot of storage underneath everything, seats. Really like the way all the cup holders are integrated into the seats themselves. And this pattern, tell me about this pattern, Drew, because I know you had a lot to do with this. Yeah, so the quilting pattern, we, you know, we've got a lot of different variations of quilting in the market and across the board. Um, so looking for something that, again, has that kind of forward momentum in terms of how the, uh, the, the, the look is. So this quilting has that forward momentum to it, and it has a lot of uh, appeal to, like, it's not something that you always see and a little bit different, but not It's a little different. I think, I think that, again, we cannot emphasize how much storage is in these. This new design, the chase boxes so that the cushion can stay open so we can get gear in and out and not have to hold it up at one point in time. And then I also like the way that you guys designed the cup holder. It's removable. Yeah, because that's always kind of a pain. You got, you know, you get some dust and some water and debris in there and then how do you, you know, clean it up? Just take it and spray it out and yeah, it's clean a it. Great idea. Drew. Done. Great idea. Everything just pops in place. Super neat look to it, and I like the way that the seat pops back in place and stays closed yeah. without snaps or straps. Tremendous amount of storage in this boat. A lot of comfort in this boat, and again, seating everywhere in this boat. I mean, this is a boat you could really go out and spend the day on with your family and have plenty of room on. And this has the third gate, so you can get off the, onto the dock easy, you know, if you're worried about getting on the front and the back, so it's great. It's a great boat. So again, guys, this is the Monaco 235 SFL. I'm Bob and this is Drew. Thanks for watching this. We appreciate it.